How are you that day, my people? Welcome back. This is my boy, Gadam Slink. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. You know, I've made it my sole responsibility as a Nigerian to try to re-educate our South Africa brands and sisters and to try to convince them that they are their own enemy. Since majority of them, eh, majority of them do not recognize, do not know who is guilty? Who is guilty over their country being criminalized by a lot of individuals and not Nigerians though? Firstly, I watched this video a long time ago, so this is not an old video. I saw it a long time ago. I don't know if I actually talked about this video before, but then again, I just have to reintroduce this video to you guys. And then we have a talk on it. And I have so much evidence to also back up the claim that South Africans have a South Africa problem. Well, check out this girl first. I like your nose. <laughs> hmm? I'm serious. How about me? Me and you do something crazy. How about me and you do something crazy? Huh? Can I get your number? Right. I like I like what I'm saying here. Yeah. Yeah. You are carrying the future in your front. Hmm? Let me get a number, please. No. Why? No. Tell me what's the reason. Yeah. I'm I I'm new in town. I need somebody to just hang around with, show me around town. Okay, you know. Okay. Sorry. I have to buy you a full chicken. So if I don't buy you a full chicken. There is nothing for me. Is that what you're saying? So, okay, let's do it. So, if I buy you a full chicken, what will be for me? Yeah. If I buy you a full chicken, right? Ah. <laughs> uh, thank, thank God I'm very chicken. Uh, I, I have a chicken farm. I have about, uh, about uh, I think, about 10, 10 cocks already. Really, really big. That's to say, anytime I'm going to South Africa, I will just carry those chicken in my bag and go and go to South Africa and then if I see any girl, I'll take food chicken or make we go knock. Or you take food chicken, make we go knock. Take food chicken, make we go knock. I, I get the money for here. Oh. And I know a lot of Nigeria uh, uh, guys also have like poultries. Well, of course, you saw that video and uh, I believe you have talked about it before. There is nothing wrong for a girl who is uh, kind of like doing uh she's she has the intention of of trans of transacting something with her body she had the intention no she's straightforward she needs a full chicken in order for that guy to get something in return there is nothing wrong in the, uh, uh, about that i'm not disputing the girl i'm not criticizing the girl i'm not saying she's wrong but i'm just trying to point something out which i wouldn't want to say what i'm trying to point out but I'm going to repeat it. I am not discriminating the girl. I'm not saying she's wrong. I'm not saying that she didn't do well. She did well. Unlike some girls who don't even know what they want. Eh? They will start whining you, whining you, whining you. She's quite straightforward. Full chicken. Why, man? <laughs> if I did South Africa, to the real chicken be that old. <laughs> To the real chicken, I say take. Uh, if you, anytime I'm going to the mall, I just tell you, I take chicken, you come, come with me. But like I said before, I'm not criticizing the girl. I'm not talking anything bad about the girl. She's a nice girl. She's a beautiful South African girl. And uh, that's been it. Huh? You understand? Then check out this, uh, this news. According to SABC News, that is a uh, South Africa uh, news station. They show five men charged with manufacturing and dealing in drugs recently appeared before Globada uh, Magistrate Court in Lipopo today. So you see the guys there, about uh, four white. And you see the elderly man there with white beards and also a black guy. I don't even think that guy will recognize himself as black. So the question a South African has, a South African woman, 
Thank you for asking the question. She asked, she said, I wonder which part of Nigeria they come from. She's asking that question. I wonder which part of Nigerians these guys come from. She be sarcastic, or it's not as if she actually mean like she's saying they are from Nigeria. She's asking the question for those other South Africans who think Nigeria are majorly one of their major problem. She has a very nice question. She wonder which part those guys come from in Nigeria. Can someone from South Africa tell her which part they come from in Nigeria? The white man with the white hair, of course, the black guy who dyed his hair, and also the other uh, fairy white guys as well. Which part in Nigeria do you think they come from? I don't know if we have any uh, province in Nigeria that are that white. I don't think so. Maybe in Jos, because we have a uh, coal there. I don't know, there's a village over there. I don't know, guys. In all the media in South Africa, I have never seen one particular... Can somebody should prove me. Yeah. If you think you have seen, prove me wrong. In all the media in South Africa, no. No single media has ever reported Nigeria being called for illicit drugs in Nigeria. In South Africa. The only thing you hear over there are just documentaries, documentaries by people on... Uh, YouTube or some, or, or some uh, uh, unauthorized station, which they can e easily plan and act. But direct newscast, we have never heard of any Nigeria court or jailed for drug related issues in Nigeria. Drug related issue in South Africa, sorry. We have never had, I've never seen before. If you have seen, please let us know. Yes, it's about time I start defending my own people as well. If you think you have proof, bring it forward. And if you are bringing that proof forward, then make sure you know the state of that person, know exactly where that person comes from. Because like I've said, majority of blacks nowadays, eh, whenever they get caught, in all those uh, rubbish acts, they usually claim to be Nigerians. People have testified before several times of other countries, black nationals, claiming to be Nigerian whenever they get caught doing something. Because they know if they get repatriated to Nigeria, eh, they can easily move from Nigeria to their own country. That's why you see them lying. Whenever they get caught, they say they are from Nigeria. Boom, they are from Nigeria because they have this black skin. When they get repatriated to Nigeria, they can just move once. That's why when, the last time when I talked about those drugs dealers, I said, those Nigerians to do Nigeria one civil uh, duty by lying, saying that they are not from Nigeria. Then I accidentally said South Africa because South Africa was the first country that came to my mind. They have been doing that to us for a very long time now. They have been doing that to us, damaging our name. They have been doing it to us. Boom, I'm from Nigeria. Meanwhile, you are not from Nigeria. You are either from Togo, Sierra Leone, all those places, South Africa. People South Africa do, do claim they are from Nigeria. And check out this other video of some vandalizers caught in South Africa. They recently charged them to court. Vandalizers, they usually stay under a bridge to rob people daylight. They were caught. Are they Nigerians? Are they Nigerians? Are looters Nigerians? You people remember that video now of a South Africa trying to drive foreigners out of their country. You see how they looted. I bet they are, it's Nigerians that we are looting. Are they Nigerians? Please, uh, you guys just made this. You guys just gave me an assignment that I never wanted. To start bringing out 
to start convincing you South Africans that South Africa has South Africa problems. We are not the one robbing in South Africa. We are not the one committing havoc. South Africans are the one doing all those stuff. And I've told you, if you have seen one report that suggests that any Nigeria committed anything in South Africa that has to do with uh, drugs, robbery, show me just one. Just one. Just one report. One. It's impossible, guys. But well, thank you guys for watching your boy again. I'm catch you next time. Peace.